Hey everybody, Movie Fan Z here. So yesterday we did the worst movies of 2022. And now we're going to go to the best. And again, I'm going to have five honorable mentions. So let's just get into it. With honorable mentions, you have number five is The Lost City. Number four is Minions, The Rise of Gru. Number three is Lightyear. Number two is Apollo 10 and a half on Netflix. And number one is Uncharted. So let's get into this. Number 10, Doctor Strange 2. My favorite superhero movie of the year. Thought it was cool going into the multiverse and the cameos. Only criticism is that I wanted more out of the movie, but I was still happy with what we got. Number nine is The Menu. This was a surprise to me. I'm not really much of a foodie, but I thought Ray Fiennes and Anya Taylor-Joy were great in the movie with great performances. I love the thriller aspect of it. The only thing that that concerns me a little bit is the rewatchability of this. I don't know how much how many more times I would go back and watch this movie. Number 8 is The Black Phone on Peacock. This to me is the biggest surprise of the year. Originally, the trailer didn't grab me at all. And the only reason I watched it is because it was coming to Halloween Horror Nights. So I thought I would check it out. And it really worked for me in terms of the best horror movie that I had seen this year. And what worked is like it the isolation, but also the performances. Number seven is HBO is uh, Elvis on HBO Max. With this one, was not a. I was never a huge fan of Elvis. I always thought him to be a little overrated in terms of the praise he got. But this also had, sorry, Tom Hanks in it. So I'll try to see anything I can with him in it. And I thought you had a lot of great performances in here from Hanks, from Austin Butler's Elvis. Even from Kelvin Harrison Jr. as B.B. King and Olivia DeJong as uh, Priscilla Presley. And the one kind of negative I'll have is the modern music tie-in. Because there would be a scene like in the 50s, but you would be playing a song from like now and it just wouldn't work. But this was another surprise for me. And the biggest thing I can take away from this is that it allowed me to understand Elvis more. Number six is The Northman. And I loved The Northman. I thought it was action packed and it was intense and just. Everything about it. At one time, it was my number one movie of the year. But, as you can see, five of the movies I thought were a little bit better. But this is one I would love to see get nominations for acting and directing and best picture. Same with my number five movie, and that's Top Gun Maverick. To be honest, I love Top Gun, except for the romance part. Never thought that was great. But, um, what was I going to say? But, I was excited to go into this movie, and I really enjoyed it. The performances, the look of the movie, just everything was great. And number four is... The Adam Sandler movie Hustle on Netflix. 
hasn't been great on Netflix in terms of his performances, even though I did like Murder Mystery. But I thought this is a great Adam Sandler performance. It's a great sports movie. And just overall, great movie. Number three is Bullet Train. Really entertaining movie. Just, I was engrossed the whole time. Had great performances. The only slight concern for me is that you had introduced some characters that just, I wish, got more screen time based on the hype about them in the movie. Number two is Devotion. This movie had it all. Everything worked in this movie. The performances, the story, the uh, acting, just everything about it worked. And you might ask, why is that number not number one? It was neck and neck with number one. It might be 1A and 1B, but I think uh, number one was a little bit more of a surprise for me, and it definitely delivered, and it was just great in all accounts. And that is the Hulu original movie, Prey, which is a sort of prequel to Predator. It, again, I was sucked into this movie. I thoroughly enjoyed it. But that is my list for the top 10 best movies that I saw in 2022. Come back next time for another review. This is Movie Fan Z signing off. Have a good night.